women be fearful of who are monogamous, and they when you, whenever I talk about polygyny, they fear that. They fear that another woman coming in is going to take their spot. You know what I mean? They don't look well, at it. Well, to me, they shouldn't even look at it like that because he's right. actually trying to share the spotlight with you. Because if she was there to take your spot, you'd be packing and she'd be bringing in shit. You know what I'm saying? So clearly he's trying to find a balance between you both. But right. like to me, when that when that whole I'm getting pushed to the back comes about, to me, before you approach him about it, you need to ask yourself, why am I being pushed to the back? Were you on your duties? Were you on your shit? If you can't say you on your shit, notice. then relax, you know, and let her let her take the forefront. Maybe take some pointers. Watch what what is she doing that you weren't doing that has his attention so much. There you go. But see, most women, that's that's too that's too rational. That's too much of a rational, logical thought opposed than emotional. Women gonna go emotional. They're not gonna go, they're not, and it's not no, and they're not gonna take that accountability. They definitely not gonna take that accountability to say, damn. But maybe I need to step my game up. Any women that I counsel, because I counsel my baby, I tell them, well, what could you be doing better? Where can you improve? And I like, I really break that. Like, now give me a list of where you can improve. Okay, that's what you need to work on. That's what's going to build your confidence. That's what's going to make you feel better. And I think when women come in, if they're in a position where I am like the job's taken care of, you got to see, okay, where are the gaps? Where where can I help? Okay, these things are already taken care of. What can I take care of in between? So you you just really got to, instead of getting into the emotions, get into your bag and start really figuring out what type of help is needed or in, in that man's life or even go to him, okay, she got this handle. What can I do? And right. that takes putting on your big girl panties on and having a hard And I want y'all women to understand, like, don't think a nigga just basking in glory. This is difficult dealing with all this damn feminine energy and, 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 now I'm and gonna swag. women, now women, I'm gonna swag. women and they feelings and all kind of shit. That ain't, that ain't good for that ain't, you gotta be a, a certain type of built man to be able to to be able to do that and to make sure that it don't it don't boil over and explode. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know how to handle it as a man when you in those relationships like that. And you and the love you may not, you may not love, because uh, I still don't believe two people love each other the same. I just, I just don't believe that. And and and, and you what may you not. It's not about. For me, it's not about the love. Who I love more, or nothing like that. I'm not going to treat. I'm not going to mistreat either one of them for for the other. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what I'm not going to do. I don't do that. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm not going to miss. I'm not going to mistreat. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Just in general, you know what I mean? Right. It, it's just. It's just it's right is right and wrong is wrong. So just because I've been with Annie Yaw for twenty years, you know what I mean. I don't I don't just throw her put, and give her no ranking like like you you know like whatever you say it goes. Now, as a smart man in polygyny, shown favoritism is a sure path to destruction. I don't do Got that. It? Yeah, no, I don't do that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, everybody grown. Everybody got their own feelings and thoughts and stuff like that. And if you the one, if you agree as my woman that was there first to open that door up, then you have to open that door up and you have to allow that other woman to be who she is while that thing, when she's walking through that door. You know what I mean? Because you open it. You know what I'm saying? You open it. So, what if she agreed, but she couldn't be under the roof? Well, that's what it was when she did agree and we wasn't under the, we, was, we wasn't under the same, it took us four years to get under the same roof. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, okay. we 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 built first. Man, you'll be done as hell. I did sleepovers at their house before <laughs> we even moved into a house. Yeah, all that all that was we as yeah. a man have an understanding. Maybe you gotta you gotta test the water. You don't just hop your ass and drop your nuts down in no hot ass water in a bath. No, you know no, I, I, no. I mean, of course, of course. Good job. But yeah, I'm saying, yeah. let's say, let's say there was a situation where she said she was never gonna be able to be allowed under the same roof, but you could do poly. Well, I, I, I would have, I would have to see that because if you if you have a problem with being under the same roof, there's a problem there. Period. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? If you if you have a problem with being under the same roof, there's a problem there. Period. Now, only reason, now here's here's some of the dynamics of being under the same roof. If you a man, if you don't put two women under the same roof. That roof better be a big ass roof. It better be a big roof. <laughs> To where it goes, yeah, you ain't in no walking in. You ain't talking about putting no two women together in no damn two bedroom apartment. 
a little three bedroom apartment. That was something I said when we moved in the house together. I said, look, I could be in the house, but I need to be on a different floor. Like, <laughs> it ain't no, I just want to be on a different floor. That's right. all I ask. I ask for nothing extravagant. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you got to, you got to be, you got to make sense, you know, because, you know, women are used to being in their own place and having their own, so you got to have some space. See, she got to come spend a night. You want to come spend a night? A night, a night in the house or the poly house. I do want to yes. see what it looks like because I, you know, because I want it, you know. But there's those, there's those different things there that are a challenge. All right, you come to spend the night. Bring okay. your bag, come spend the night, and you get to see it and experience it and ask the questions and, and do all of that. Yeah, we, might get, we might need to, uh, what's that called? Be, blog it. We need to blog that experience. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Atlanta. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to get all the, the cut scenes. They don't want y'all to see. That's what I'm going to upload. No, <laughs> no so since, since we're talking about this, um, let's go ahead and kind of dive into body count, right? Mm. Uh, because when people talk about poly, they just, they just think just everybody just on top of everybody 24-7. And um, it's, it's not like that at all. Like, we don't even, we don't even want it like that. Well, I can't speak for you guys because I'm, I'm bisexual. So I like women and I like men. So sometimes in my house, we will be all up over each other. And, and that's how I want my poly household to run. But I know that's not what you guys allow, right? Or right. Do you think in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how does that work? Um, well, as far as what? Body, what's the exact question? Make sure I'm asking the right thing. <laughs> Forgot we was on a specific subject. <laughs> I was going to ask a question. I'm like, wait, look, let me make sure I'm asking the right thing. Right. Okay. So, do you think that um, women who are monogamous have a lower or higher body count from women who are in poly relationships? Um. Well, it depends on the type of poly that the woman practices, because as I've been, you know, learning and understanding, I'm only talking women, about male body count. Women, okay. women on women don't count to me. So we ain't okay. talking about that. No, then of course it would be lower because if she's in at least our type of structure, one man, multiple women, after she lock into that man, that's the only man she should be having sex with unless she practices like polyandry or all those other things where you can have multiple men. So then your body count could be kind of high. Right. Your body count could be kind of high in that way. But I know as far as me, anything prior to him, that don't even exist. I don't even know her or none of that that happened before that. I, that's all I know. <laughs> That's okay. all I read the show. Okay. So, but why do we feel that um, women who are monogamous have the higher body count? Um, I, think I don't do. know if they have the higher body count because I think it would be specific to that, to that woman and how she moves. Because I know even when I was monogamous, I wouldn't run around like that. But okay, let's um, have some fun. Let's, let's have I some think fun. she would be more likely to have more body. A monogamous woman would be more likely to yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah, let's say that shit. Like, oh, he cheated, I'm on to the next one. He, moved, he cheated, I'm on to the next one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, she, 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 she she still gonna have the same principle as a woman that's polygynous and, and married. It, it's just yep. gonna be her and her husband or her that man. Whereas the woman that's single, you know what I mean? She's looking for that one. She's looking for that one, and in the process <laughs> of looking for that one, she's gonna catch some bodies. She'll catch yeah, a few flats, you know what I mean? Some flats gonna be caught, and she's gonna need, you know what I'm saying? She'll be jacking up the ride and all that kind of stuff, changing tires, you know what I mean? All that kind of shit. Because she's she looking for that one. You know what I mean? And, and that one, you know, I know women that started out looking for that one when I knew them, when they was, I still know damn near everybody I knew when I was in my, went to high school. And they, in their 40s right now, and they still ain't found that one. Uh, and, and when they had a few of them in between, see, for that, that one for the woman is equals or equates to marriage. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Your husband, that ring getting put on you. So mm -hmm. she may have had that, she may have had those, I thought he was the ones, you know what I mean? So she got those counts, you know, the nigga that she was with a couple of years, didn't work yeah. out. She that had to leave the nigga. Up. Then she meet the new nigga, she go about seven, eight months to herself. 
Then she run into another nigga that she think is the one, kicking with him about, about a soft year and a half. See that, nah, can't really deal with this nigga, this nigga. Nah, right, right. And then that those are the ones that she thought she was going to try to work out with. Not the ones that she did in between that, that was a soft eight months when she was by herself. She just said, you know what, I want me son. So I'm going to call this nigga over. I don't want him to, as my man. I don't want him to be my man, but I'm going to go and let him knock something down for the night, get my funky off. And then, you know, so now that's another, that's another body count. So that's how, but that, this is how women are. Celibacy is the key. If you not, if you just want to be monogamous and only be the man, you might just need to be celibate till you find. Yeah, but point. I mean, we we talk. Come on now, we talk celibate, but ain't nobody out here really being celibate though. I know, that's I know, cute. I know a girl that's very pretty, intelligent, spiritual. She's celibate than love. Yeah, she, we ain't talking about her. Good. That's a that's what you call a unicorn. Look, that's, that's that's what you call a unicorn in a so world filled with horses. Thing. I just man, feel like, man, you know man, what, your body man. count to go up? Be a grown woman, have some discipline about yourself, and be celibate so, you, so your body can count to go up. Because a nigga don't want a woman that's been ran through. Hell no. They may be celibate, but how long? That's the, that's the question. Um, the kind of, She's been celibate a few years. No, I'm saying, I'm, no, like she said, she's a unicorn. Yeah. They say they celebrate, yeah, because you just broke up with your man. I'm celibate. I ain't that part. You know what I mean? You just broke up with your man, so you celebrate now. You may go, you may go three, three months. Wait, my grandmother used to say, ain't nobody celebrate, you celebrate here, you celebrate there. Exactly. Because to me, you can't really say you've been, to me, you can't really say you've really even been celibate unless you're about two years in on it. Yeah, yeah. You're just just waiting for what you like. It's real lit. But okay. you know what? He read something earlier talking about a, a polygynous man is more has a lower body count because he has that freedom, all that stuff like that. But if that polygynous man is not disciplined sexually because he does have that freedom to move around and deal with multiple women, he might have a wife at home, but he know he got that freedom to move around. If he's not sexually disciplined, every girl he dates, he probably would knock him down, and his body count might be higher than a monogamous man who's got a girl, but cheats every now and then, or got that one that he locked into that he's been dealing with for a long time. So I think that definitely for on the men's side, just from my perspective, and you know, just the things that I've seen and talking to women about, it comes down to a man's sexual discipline. Because trust me, I, I'm talking to some women. She's like, my husband is poly, and every girl he meet, he has sex with him. Yeah, because I mean, if she's talking like that, because you ain't having sex with him. If she's talking like that, no, that's because no. you are not. She is just there for those moments where you need, you just needed a break. You know, you just needed self care. It's just that. It's just that the point of it is for him to always feel like he doesn't have to go outside of us to get that sense of relief. Because women have a bad habit of thinking that a man's sex drive functions the same way that ours does and to me i don't really feel like so. it's a period where they calm down until they're like much older and Look, even some my of daddy is 63 and he be doing it he, he be having oh, a hot boy summer um moments <laughs> the way he be talking like that you got yeah. to my daddy don't play <laughs> yeah my daddy my daddy don't play but even me as a woman right now it's like you know if it's if it's done correctly you know, you take your time and it's done correctly just how I wanted it. I'm good. Everything else you doing after that, that is all for you. And sometimes do I feel like letting you do it for you? I may not. But my obligation to you as your woman is to allow you. But if I if I don't feel like it, I'm supposed to provide that space for you to still be able to get that. To me. And women love to feel like if a man does it, they can do it too. And you cannot. Thank <laughs> you.